Hello, everybody. My name is John Andrews from The Economist, and I want to welcome you all to Logistics, Challenges and Opportunities in a Post-COVID-19 World. This is a virtual conference, so I hope we have no technical problems and that the internet does its duty. And we're pleased to be running this in conjunction with the Hellenic Logistics Association. But let me start with just a couple of words of introduction. <clears throat> if we've learned one thing from COVID-19 and from the global pandemic, it's the importance of logistics and the fragility of our supply chains. It wasn't just though the, the coronavirus that has alerted us to this issue. Back in March, not so long ago, the Suez Canal was blocked for six days when a giant container ship, the Ever Given, uh, ran aground. Now, given that around 12% of global trade goes through the Suez Canal, the economic impact of that closure was enormous and the financial wrangles that have resulted from it continue they have yet to be resolved. And it was, after all, not just the delivery of the 18,300 containers on the ever given that uh, was delayed, but the delays caused hundreds of other ships forced either to queue up, to wait their, uh, their time for the, to enter the canal, or to take the very long route around uh, the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa. Well, ultimately, of course, what's at stake is globalization itself. We are in an interconnected world, in which all countries, with I suppose the possible exception of North Korea, and even that actually does trade a little bit with, with China, which all countries really trade with each other and want to trade with each other. If we don't get the logistics right, then we all suffer.